monosodium glutamate and glutamic acid are essentially equivalent. The only difference is what kind of an environment they're in. If the pH is less than 4.25 but greater than 2.10, you'll have glutamic acid. If it's greater than 4.25 but less than 9.67, you'll have monosodium glutamate. Okay? Um, now, this is standard amino acid. It comes from uh, many uh, different proteins. Okay? When the protein is uh, broken down, remember our protein chain, one of those links is a glutamic acid. When it gets digested, it breaks up those, uh, that chain into the amino acids, and so you'll have glutamic acid. Okay? Um, and then monosodium glutamate would just be if it's in a higher pH. Okay? Um, normal body pH is right here around 7.4. Right. So monosodium glutamate is the tip is within. Uh, I mean that's the typical form that you would find that amino acid in the body. Okay. Um, and so you might be thinking, okay, what's the big deal then? This is a common substance. It's in our proteins that we eat every day. Um, and in fact, uh, monosodium glutamate, uh, this glutamate form is uh, used in the brain as a neurotransmitter. Okay, so it has a, a regular, it's the most common neurotransmitter um, in the brain of the amino acid neurotransmitters. And, uh, and it has a uh, particular uh, function to uh, stimulate the brain cells. Right? So what's wrong with uh, monosodium glutamate when we eat it in our diet. Okay, that's where we need to look at what happens. Um, w you know, what's the difference between eating monosodium glutamate and eating protein that generates monosodium glutamate? Okay, so um, and the key is that uh, you know the proteins go through a process, okay? It starts off as its protein, which is a long chain of a bunch of different amino acids, right? That protein um, goes uh, through a couple of steps, okay, um, before it gets to the um, amino acid. All right. So first, you know, here we have it enters the stomach. All right. After the stomach, it goes through the um, duodenum. Okay. And then after that, we have the small intestine. Okay. It's at the small intestine that we have the protein completely broken down as the free amino acids. Okay? So we have a process, okay? The protein first enters the stomach and it doesn't happen immediately. Okay? If I um, were to illustrate, let's uh, look at this as an example. Here I have some uh, pine needles and these pine needles represent the chains of protein. Okay, um, so let's just uh, look uh, at an example protein. It comes in, we have several different, you know, a number of different molecules of this protein um, and what happens in the stomach is there is a digestive enzyme that is excreted with, along with hydrogen uh, chloride or hydrochloric acid and that serves to break down the uh, protein. Okay? But it doesn't break it down completely. Okay? It 
breaks it down into smaller segments. Okay, it's specific. Uh, the, pro the enzyme in the stomach, the pepsin, uh, is what it's called. It only breaks certain of those peptide bonds. You recall those are the bonds that hold the amino acids together. It only breaks down certain ones, right? So we end up with uh, this mixture of shorter chains, um, uh, but, but they're not free amino acids, right? You get this in the duodenum, and it goes down there, and with the help of uh, another enzyme called trypsin, and uh, chymotrypsin, right? Then it starts to break them down into the individual amino acids, okay? So that's what happens, not in the stomach, but further down the line in the duodenum or in the small intestine. That's where it breaks it down into the individual amino acids, okay? So, that's, uh, that is the key difference is that the protein goes through this digestion process, whereas when you consume MSG directly, you're bypassing all of this process, which takes a considerable amount of time, and you're going straight to the amino acid, uh, I mean, you're digesting, the, or you're uh, consuming the amino acid directly, and it gets absorbed directly into the bloodstream. So it bypasses this slower digestion process, which releases it at slow, um, you know, more continuously in slower amounts. Instead, when you consume it directly, you get a flood of <coughs> MSG into the system, and then that goes uh, to the brain, and it overexcites your brain cells and even causes cell death uh, to the neurons in your brain. Not a good thing. All right. So that's really the, the, the main problem with monosodium glutamate or MSG um, is because you're getting it directly. It's bypassing the digestion process. Okay. You never, in, in nature, you don't find free amino acids. They're always consumed in the form of proteins. Right? It's only um, by processing foods uh, that we get them in this amino, free amino acid, pre-digested form, if you will, um, of uh, monosodium glutamate and other forms. Okay? So, a few things that I want to point out here. Um, to reiterate, I should say, there's no difference between the amino acid as it's typically expressed, glutamic acid, and MSG. All right. So what that means is, if you see on the label of a product glutamic acid, and it doesn't say MSG, it might even say no MSG added. But um, if it has glutamic acid, guess what? you're going to have MSG, all right? The, uh, the, your stomach pH is, depending on the meal that you eat and, uh, you know, what not, um, it may get down into this range if you have a very uh, uh, protein-rich meal. More likely, it's probably going to stay down in this range somewhere, but that's in the stomach. Once the food gets into the duodenum, the duodenum, uh, it, uh, it, it triggers the excretion of bile. Bile is very alkaline, and that neutralizes the acid, and it brings the pH up into this range uh, close to your normal body. And this is your normal body, you know, your blood pH. That's the pH that it um, is at in its final stage where it gets absorbed into the blood. All right. So at absorption in, and where it becomes useful to the body, 
it's always going to be in the glutamate form, okay? So it doesn't matter. If it says glutamic acid or if it says MSG or monosodium glutamate, it's going to be the same thing, all right? Once you absorb it, it's monosodium glutamate, all right? So sometimes, uh, you know, it might say no MSG added, but if it says glutamic acid on the, uh, in the ingredients, it's the same thing in your body, all right? Uh, one key example of this is a product um, that is commonly used as a soy sauce replacement. It's called uh, liquid aminos from uh, Bragg, Bragg's liquid aminos. You look on the label, it says glutamic acid, all right, as part of the ingredients. That's MSG, all right? Um, and it's a product that is entirely made from uh, pre-digested amino acids, if you will, and uh, a very unnatural product, uh, to be sure. You never find free amino acids in nature or in any kind of a, uh, a natural source. You always find, it, find them bound up in proteins, and that allows your body to release the amino acids in the uh, amounts that it needs slowly as it decomposes those proteins. Okay, so um, avoid flooding your system um, by avoiding the ingestion of these free amino acids directly. Let me just point out one uh, one other thing. Okay, there's another form of, uh, or another name, I should say, for this MSG. You, you, you know, you, you could look for monosodium glutamate, MSG, or glutamic acid. It may not have any of that on the ingredients list. It might say something like hydrolyzed vegetable protein. Okay, what is hydrolyzed vegetable protein? Okay. You remember from earlier in the discussion Here's our protein. I've shown a couple of units, but they're much longer. What is that process of breaking those bonds called? Hydrolysis, okay? So when you see hydrolyzed, okay? Hydrolyzed, okay? Anything that's hydrolyzed, it's just saying that they've taken that protein and they've broken it down, okay? So whether it's hydrolyzed vegetable protein um, or just hydrolyzed protein or hydrolyzed whatever uh, some kind of protein you know what that is that's just a bunch of amino acids okay hydrolyzed vegetable pro they've hydrolyzed it they've gone in there broken down the proteins for you in other words they've pre-digested your protein they ate it for you, in other words, and then gave you just the amino acids to flood your system um, with all these free amino acids, um, including um, monosodium glutamate, okay? Same thing, um, different name. Hydrolyzed vegetable protein, hydrolyzed soy protein, um, or you might uh, see it in um, a... Uh, it might say soy protein isolate or something like that. They're all the same thing. They're saying they took that soy protein, they isolated, in other words, they broke it down and they isolated the amino acids or something. All right, it's all the same stuff, a mixture of amino acids, which will include your glutamic acid, which becomes monosodium glutamate in your body. Okay, so now.